Hey, what's up guys, Corb Master here, and in today's video, I wanna to talk to you about something very weird that I'm doing with my OP1 field. Let's do this. All right, so if you've been following my content for a while, you would know that I've been exploring ways that make sense for me to use my OP1 field. Um, it's a it's a journey, it's been a journey for me, right? My OPZ, I know exactly what to do with that, and I know the workflow that works for me, and it just kinda happened naturally with this, not so much. There's so many different things it can do. And um, one thing that I've been really enjoying doing with the OP1 field is experiencing music in a different way. And what I decided to do is make each tape on here a, and right now it says Sun Goddess, that's the name of one of the songs that's on this particular tape, but make each tape a genre of songs. So the, for this first one, as a matter of fact, I'm gonna change it right now. For this first one, I'm gonna call this uh, Oldies. So let's go ahead and call it that, uh, O-L, uh, where is L at right there? D, and then I, and then E. Oh, there we go, this is not that bad, it's like pretty quick. And then S, and then how do we delete, delete? Oh, we can just go here. There we go. Oldies. Uh, okay, so these are all oldies songs, right? And the reason I originally had the name of one song is because I was going to do one song per tape, but then I realized that I can do one song per track per tape. So therefore, four songs per tape. And what I did was I just uh, connected this to my iPad and um, I think I was using USB-C uh, and recorded into or onto the tape um, four different songs. And I'm gonna play just a second. I'm gonna speed it up, I guess. I don't know, I don't wanna get monetized, demonetized for this. So I'm not gonna play much of it, but I'm just gonna play a second of it sped up. Okay, so hopefully that was, that was okay to do that YouTube, I don't know. But each of these now has its own song that I recorded. And then what I've been doing here is just really, just having a blast listening to music that I normally could listen to, you know, on YouTube music or Spotify or whatever. But listening to them to music through here allows me with my OB4 speaker to transmit it, transmit it over the FM airwaves and be able to experience music wirelessly through that awesome speakers. That's the first thing, which of course, whoa, you can do that with Bluetooth. Like it is a little delay, but it doesn't matter. So that's fine. But here I can do other things to it, right? I can loop parts of it. I can speed down, I can slow up and, um, or pitch shift and stuff like that. I can add effects. And that's just been just, so much joy that it's bringing me. So that's one thing that I'm gonna do with this current season with the OP1 field is I'm gonna go into here and I'm gonna like have an oldie section. Matter of fact, let's actually create some new tapes right now, right? Let's do that. So one of them is gonna be, um, you know, like I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say rock. So I'll say like, boom, like just genres, right? Like I'm gonna have a rock one on here, even though oldies are kinda, that's kinda general, right? What oldies can be, oldies can be rock as well, but Thing when you say oldies, you kind of know what we're talking about, right? So we have rock is going to be one, and then what do we go next? And delete, delete, delete. So that's another one. And then I would say when I create these, I think on the first one, let me let me double check what I did. I think I I did the uh, yeah I did 44, right? I did just not even arbitrary, but just a middle number like that. So going in here and create and doing each of these to 44, so that you have a little headroom. Whoops. Uh, yeah, okay, there we go. I guess we can lift those up a little. So yeah, so this is what I'm gonna do, right? And then, for now, I'm gonna be rocking with this. So this is now not so much of a of a device creation tool, right? Because I'm not, I'm kind of just experiencing stuff that's already been made differently. Um, so that's one area. And then the other area that I've been spending time using this, and I'm still kind of figuring this piece out, but I've been using this uh, with Loopy Pro as a MIDI controller, and that's been a lot of fun. Um, I'm gonna also experiment with using something like this as well. This is the keyboard from uh, Keith McMillan. This is a really, really great, um, small and just really good uh, sensitivity with the keys as well as um, like being able to finger drum on here as well as play chords and stuff has been just a lot of fun, right? So this is another thing uh, that the only thing that, that 
presents a problem with using this with something like Loopy or anything on the iPad, for me, is that this has USB-C. As does this, but this is not wireless. So if I'm using this and I just want to kind of quickly just use a keyboard, it's much, I'm much more likely to grab this and connect it via Bluetooth and just jam out because now the USB-C port on the iPad is already being used for headphones. And so I'll do that like much faster than I will have to take this out, have to find a cable or get a cable, have to also get a, um, what, like an adapter or a dongle or whatever to use with both of those ports. And it's just those extra steps I just don't enjoy uh, doing at all. So something like this, I want this to be USB-C. I'm sorry, it is USB-C. <laughs> I want this to be uh, Bluetooth so badly because if it was, it would be like perfect, near perfect in my opinion. So I don't know if they're working on anything like that. I tried to get some information from them, um, but I wasn't able to get anything. But that would be really, really cool. But yeah, just wanted to wanted to share that, right? So this is gonna be a journey for me with the OP1 field. Um, in addition to what I just talked about, I mean, the idea of just coming in and just using it to just play and not necessarily think about having to record, but just, so like something like this. Oops, so you you might know this if you know Zelda. So let me find. So something like that, yes. So um, that's the end of the video. Thank you for watching. Hopefully this maybe inspired someone. I think most people who probably look at this are gonna be like, why the heck are you using this piece of equipment just to do that? You know what? Because I'm enjoying doing it and it's fun and I like it. And you know, it's, uh, it's about finding what works for you, right? And kind of understanding that this process is a journey um, process of, you know, music making and inspiration is a process, uh, process I'm referring to. And uh, I'm all for it. I'm enjoying the journey. Hope you guys are too. And I look forward to seeing you on the next one. Peace.